well. Joining us from the New York Stock Exchange is Liz Clayman, host of Countdown to the Closing Bell on Fox Business Network. Good morning, Liz. Good morning, Julie. So what caused the Dow to have another big drop yesterday? I mean, the la- you know, we talk about the countdown to the closing bell. In that last hour, we just saw a vast number of sellers pour into the markets. And, you know, I've heard a lot of traders say, oh, perhaps it was speculators, perhaps it's the hedge funds. Listen, you look at what people are worried about as far as their mutual funds are concerned and their 401ks. They started selling after they saw in the morning very, very weak retail sales numbers, the worst in three years here in the United States for the month of September. Ben Bernanke, the Federal Reserve Chair, Julie, was speaking earlier. It's not as if he said and dropped some kind of stink bomb on the markets, but he did give an indication that we would see protracted weakness for the next couple of quarters, perhaps. And then, boom, in the last hour or two, people just got spooked. The horses started running out of the barn, and there was no way to get them back in. So we lost Mm. yet another 200 points in that last hour, bringing it to a total of 733, worst in about 21 years as far as point drops are concerned. Incredible. Wow. Well, you know, it's very tempting for people just to simply say, get me out. Mm. Is that the right thing to do? depending on your time horizon, it really might not be. If you've got at least a couple of years before you need that money, the most important thing to do is wait, because I've talked to a lot of experts who say you've got to be able to let it grow back. This may take a long time. We've just lost thousands of points. And, you know, you look at it overall, this time a year ago, the Dow was 40 percent higher. That takes time to rebuild. So if you're selling right now, you're selling at major, major losses. Liz Clayman, thank you. Sure. And now let's head back to New York and Harry.